Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Curry King and welcome to episode 5 of Learning Minecraft Bedrock Edition Redstone. And today we're going to be learning about Minecraft clocks. And no, I'm not talking about those gold clocks that tell you if it's night or day. I'm talking about redstone clocks. So in Minecraft, there are very many clocks that are used and talked about. But the main ones that are probably talked about are these two right here, hopper clocks. So basic hopper clock, as you can see here, is just two hoppers going into each other with a comparator centering an object that's inside. As you can see, there's a piece of dirt right there. This lever is powering it so the hoppers stay closed and off so nothing goes back and forth. And if we turn it on, as you can see, there's a continuous pulse going out, powering this lamp so the item keeps going back and forth. Next, we have a little bit more of a complicated hopper clock and a very common one, which is the etho hopper clock. So like before, we have two hoppers going into each other. But instead of one comparator going out of one of these hoppers, we have both comparators going out both sides going into the block. Blocks both have redstone dust, and then these are normal pistons, as you can see it's a normal piston, with a redstone block on top of the hopper. So what will happen is it will just keep getting pushed back and forth the amount of blocks on each side, so eventually it will get pushed to one side, which will then swing change this to push over here and the same thing will happen so as soon as this runs out this will lose its power then forcing it to go this way you see the power will keep alternating since it's on this side it'll stay on the side keeping it powered then as soon as it switch it switches off until it's get powered back now the smaller amount of items you have in your clock the smaller the amount of time in between or clock delay whatever you want to call it the more items which can have up to five stacks in this the more delay there will be now we have an OG redstone clock. I'm guessing if you played Minecraft, you've probably made this. All you gotta do is simply place and break a torch as fast as you can. I didn't do it that time. Place and break, like so, and as you see, it's a fast, rapid motion. And there's also a very easier way of doing this is just putting the observer going into it and then just activating the front of it. Break this, do it. And if you just have it, it'll flick the, as you can see, turns it on, and it does the motion. So as you can see, it's much easier than trying to place and break a redstone torch. Even though this is too fast to power a lamp, it can power a dispenser which you can just rapid fire arrows out of. Now on to a different version of the OG redstone clock. It's the exact same thing except for these front two. It's a block with a torch off to the side. But it's the exact same thing as you see. So now this is just slow enough so it can flash on and off a redstone lamp like so because it's the added delay of this torch. Now we have a zero tick redstone clock. Basically, this is just a comparator with a signal, which is a lever, going into it, and then you just have three redstone dust like this. Make sure you flick it on, like so, since it's subtract mode. And if we do this, as you see, it'll just go super, super fast. And I have a lamp and a piston here to show that it goes so fast as it is, it's zero tick, that a piston nor a lamp will work. As you see, also, the dispenser won't work. So yeah, this is really, really fast to the point where things will not work. Now we're on to an observer clock. An observer clock is just two observers face to face. I can see one arrow is going to go this way, one arrow is then going to go the opposite way. Then the bases are with each other. So if I put this levers and the piston pushes them together, you'll see how one arrow is going this way, that way. As you see, laying off a pulse. And it is a little bit slower than this one right here. So it's actually able to activate a piston now, but it's still too fast to activate a lamp. But don't worry, it is able to activate the dispenser as well. Now onto this last one. This one is the one that I personally use the most in my redstone. And then I call it a tea clock. To be honest, I have no clue what the name of the actual name of this is. I personally call it a tea clock because it's in the shape of a T. So yeah, I have no clue what the name, the actual name is, if there is a name for it. But it's like the observer one, as you can see, it goes fast enough, so it activates a piston, it'll activate a dispenser and all that stuff, but it's not fast enough to activate a redstone lamp but if we add delay to it it then could start activating the redstone lamp and we could just keep adding delay up to four ticks the reason i call the t-shape is you have to make a t to first make it so as you see t you punch in the middle one have a repeater going into the back block underneath this first block you're gonna have a redstone torch and a redstone dust right here and as you see it'll start making a rapid motion make sure you also put a lever here and flick it down and one last thing to make sure it works if you have redstone going off like this where it's not going into that block, it will not work. As you see, it, it won't work. It has to be going into that block. So whether it be like this, whether it be like this, it has to be going into the block. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure to smash like, subscribe, and you, as always, be both naughty. Uh, and you may also notice how with this series, I normally have it on uh, grass, flat, uh, world, 
um, with that stone road, like you guys know what I'm talking about. But since I moved to PC, I no longer have that world. So we're upgrading this, and we're no longer gonna have it all in that one pathway, which is kind of sad because we had a progression line. But I still gotta continue the series. But yeah, that's pretty much it. See you next one. Goodbye.